Two Muslim men are accusing Alaska Airlines of violating their civil rights when they were kicked off a flight for texting in Arabic. The Council on American Islamic Relations says this incident is another egregious example of flying while Muslim. Imagine being uh, innocent and then suddenly you became accused of being criminal. Abu Bakr and his friend Mohammed say they were humiliated and discriminated against back on February 17th. They were sitting in first class on an Alaska Airlines flight from Seattle to San Francisco on a business trip. The most embarrassing things was when the agent came in to the aircraft and had us stand up to leave with our bags. Everyone saw us as we were being removed from the airplane. It all started when another passenger saw these text messages in Arabic on Abu Bakr's phone and reported them as being suspicious, even though the passenger didn't speak Arabic. The Council on American Islamic Relations says the men were forced off the plane and questioned. They say the texts were translated and showed no security threat. CARE provided this translation of the text, which reads in part, Peace be upon you, Captain. CARE also provided this report from the Port of Seattle Police Department. In it, the responding officer says, An Alaska Airlines manager told me there was a misunderstanding. There was no threat of any kind. Still, CARE says the airline deplaned all the other passengers. They had to undergo another security screening. A canine unit came in, and the airline even emptied the bathroom because one of the men had used it. Then the men weren't allowed to take their original flight and were booked on separate flights to San Francisco. This is humiliation that they had to endure at the hands of, you know, so many different levels of the chain of command. What would make it right from Alaska Airlines? I think above and, and beyond all things, what these gentlemen want is not just a refund and a formal apology, those, though those are things that we are asking for. Um, what they want to see is is a systemic change because this came from what really appears to be a systemic issue in their threat response process. When we traveled uh, that day, we are not treated the same as other people. And it has made me feel a little. It made me feel like I was not equal to the other people. I don't want this to happen again. Alaska Airlines issued a statement. It reads in part, we are sorry that two of our guests had such a distressing experience last February. We have launched an internal investigation of the incident to determine whether there were any missteps on our part. CARE said it intended to file a lawsuit today, but after Alaska Airlines reached out to them last Friday, they say they're trying to settle this as amicably as possible.